Well, Dana, it's only been about 20 minutes or so, um, maybe a half hour, but I, closer to 20 minutes, and this has already cooled down, so I'm going to go ahead and get a little closer view of the actual wick, if we can get it here. Doesn't look like it's showing up too bad. Now, that little burn we did there was, was good for it. I can already see where some of those hairs that I created by cleaning it um, have burned off. What I'm going to do now is I'm really already pretty happy with the evenness of this, and I don't really want to cut any more of it. I really want to start working on charring it more. And the only way it's going to get charred is to keep lighting it and and blowing it out. Um, now it's already to a point where I can use it and just I'm going to burn it low for several weeks. I usually burn this lamp in our dining room window and I'm going to light that a little later this evening. Um, and it gets burned pretty frequently in the winter. It gets burned almost every night. Summertime, not so much, but I will light it later, and you'll see it in our in our window there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and light this again to see. I'm not even going to dress it because I kind of like what I see here. I just want to see it burn. Put the flame spreader back in. I want to see if I got rid of any of those little yellow flames that were coming off of it. That is burning a little better. It still needs a little work. Normally I go ahead and I put my gallery and mantle on now and kind of bring it up just so that I'm not putting smoke into the air. Now you can see you can see right in there there's a, a little yellow little yellow flame in there and that's what I want what I'm trying to get rid of. As they get better charred you'll lose all of those it'll just be a nice blue flame around there you'll lose all those little little yellow flames and you don't want those because those will burn up your mantles. So that's what we're working at to get rid of here. And what happens is as you get it, I'm only down to about two of them there. Well, I got one over there. As I continue to burn this and char it, those will go away. But the key is to, to make sure you keep a blue flame. I like to keep red at the top of my mantle. If I've learned that if I get past that point it's too hot so I burn at a low flame most of the time but especially at this stage of the game when I'm trying to char this wick it's going to take a couple weeks to really get this charred the way I want it to where I can just light it and it'll burn just exactly the way I want it brighter at a lower heat Now this is a new mantle. This is, in, when I say a new mantle, this is the mantle that Aladdin is producing now and selling now. They're not as good as the older mantles. That's why on eBay, the older mantles, the, they're a little bit taller. I don't think I have an example up here right now, but they're a little taller and they were made in Brazil and they are a better mantle. They burn brighter the one that my buddy Dave's burning, it looks like an older mantle and if he doesn't burn it up, it looks like it's going to be a good mantle for him. Um, they do burn a little brighter than these and they last longer. I seem to go through these newer mantles a little more frequently than I would like to. Now I got a pretty good flame there. You can see that the mantles lit up pretty evenly and that's at a low I can go up pretty high with that, but I'm not going to risk that just yet because I'm still trying to achieve a better charred wick. 
So I'm going to blow this out and I'm going to light it in a little while. I'm just going to brush it up a little bit before I take it downstairs and just kind of dust a little bit. Then I'm going to light it and put it in, light it in our bracket in our window uh, just to see how it looks when it's dark.